Okay, first question here. In the expansion of that, where p is known to bin, the coefficient of the x is twice the coefficient of the x squared. Find the value of p. Okay. Well, first thing you have to do on it is multiply out your two sets of brackets. It's the very first thing. So, that's 2x bracket x squared plus px plus 4. Uh, plus 1 bracket x squared plus px plus 4. Alright, so that's 2x cubed, 2px squared, 8px, sorry, just 8x, 2 by 4x is just an 8x, 1 by x squared is plus 1x squared, 1 by px is just plus 1px, and then finally 1 by 4 is just a wee plus 4. Okay, tidy it up, now I'll go back to the question again. The coefficient of the x and the coefficient of the x squared. So we'll try and get the x squared and the x's together. 2x cubed is out in his own. That's an x squared term, okay, and that's an x squared term. Bring the two of them together by factorizing, taking out the highest common factor. x squared outside the brackets is 2p plus 1. Okay, that's them two taken care of. The x one, that's an x and that's an x. Do the same thing again, plus x outside the bracket, and then I've got px plus 8. Sorry, just p plus 8, if I take an x outside the brackets. What am I left with? I'm left with a plus 4. Make sure that's it all tidied up as best you can. Okay, now let's go back and read the question. The coefficient of the x is twice the coefficient of the x squared. Okay, what does that mean in English? The coefficient, that means the number that goes in front. So the number that goes in front of it is my p plus 8 in front of the x, and then the 2p plus 1 is in front of the x squared. Okay, now what that means in English, twice the x squared coefficient would be the same as the x coefficient. And that's what you have to make of that. Okay? The coefficient of the x is twice the coefficient of the x squared. Okay? But because you're forming an equation, and then when you're doing an equation, the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side. Okay? And that means that twice this, so 2, open a bracket, 2p plus 1, would be equal to p plus 8. Twice the x squared, twice, and I'm just going to put in common in brackets here, twice the x squared would be equal to the x coefficient. That's what you're talking about in English. Okay, then it's just a matter of working it out. 4p plus 2 even is equal to p plus 8. p to the left, numbers to the right. That should be a 2 if I can write properly. That's going to give you 3p is equal to 6. p is equal to 2. That's your first question done. Okay, bring it across your... Yeah, you know that, yeah, that's fine. But that's the hard part. Twice the x squared would be the same as the x coefficient. You're trying to make an equation, and if you're making an equation, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, other side of the sheet. Straightforward, fraction question. Easy to make a mistake, obviously, but you guarantee yourself to be back yourself to get, say, if there's 15 marks going for that, you'd be thinking, yeah, I can definitely get myself 10 or 11 here at a minimum. You see a fraction, you see an equals, okay? You work on your common denominator, okay? Common denominator is all the things that are different along the bottom. So, all the things that are different along the bottom, there's a few of them. 2x plus 1 is completely different to 5, and it's completely different to 3x minus 1. So, what I'm going to do is put my common denominator across the top of each of the three terms. Because I'm stuck for space here, I'm just going to put it up along the top once. So, my common denominator is 2x plus 1, you have a 5, and you've got your 3x minus 1. Okay? Now, what I'm doing here is I'm dividing that into my common denominator. So, in the first one, that and that cancel, I'm left with 3 by 5 by 3x minus 1. Plus sign, because that's a wee plus there. In the second one, the 5 cancels off with the 5. I'm left with 2, that's the 2 on top, by 2x plus 1. And then by 3x minus 1. Close the bracket. Equal sign next. The 3x minus 1, the 3x minus 1 cancels off. I'm left with 2 by 5 by 2x plus 1. And that's essentially the hard part of the question done. From here, it's just backing yourself with your algebra. 3 by 5 is 15. Okay, so just take it, I suppose, nice and easy. 15 by 3x minus 1. Okay. Now, next part. You have a couple of options to do in the second way. Do you want to multiply out the two brackets first? Do you want to multiply the 2 by the 2x plus 1? And then multiply your answer by the 3x minus 1? Honestly, it doesn't matter which way you go about doing it. You're going to get the exact same answer. We're going to multiply the 2 by the 2x plus 1. 2 by 2x is 4x plus 4 by 1 is, or sorry, 2 by 1 is 2. Open bracket, 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 by 5 is 10. Open bracket, your 2x plus 1. Now, take your time. 
Okay, if you take your time, concentrate on what you're doing, it won't be a problem. 3 15s is 45x. Uh, 15 minus 1 is minus 15. Plus, now, you have to multiply this out. We're going to go down here to the bottom of the page. Bit of room. 4x plus 2 by 3x minus 1. All right, that's 4x bracket 3x minus 1. And then plus 2 bracket 3x minus 1. Multiply that out. 12x squared minus 4x um, plus 6x and 2 by 1 is minus 2. That's 12x squared plus 2x minus 2. That's that. Multiply those. Check, make sure you're happy with that again. 4 by 3, yeah, 12x squared. 4 by minus 1 is minus 4. Um, 2 by 3 is 6x, yeah, that's all good, minus 2, yeah, and then 6 minus 4 is plus 2, yeah, happy with that. Okay, so back into your question again, put in this here, plus 12x squared, 2x and 2, minus 2, or sorry, plus 2x, minus 2. Now the only place you can possibly make a mistake, if that was a minus, then it would be minus, and I'd put all this in brackets, but clearly it's not a minus, it's a plus, so you don't need to worry about your signs. 2 by 10 is 20x, and 10 by 1 is plus 10. The quadratic equation, how do you know it's a quadratic equation? Because you've squared in it, everything crosses to the left. Okay, that's 12x squared, uh, 45, and 2 is 47. 47 minus the 20 when you bring it across, that's going to give you plus 27x. What have I got then in terms of numbers? Minus 15, minus 2 is minus 17, it's minus 27. Make sure I didn't make a mess of that now. If minus 15 and 2 is minus 17, bring across your 10 and that becomes a minus 10. Yeah, that's minus 27. Make life as simple as possible for yourself. Divide by 3 is, yeah, as far as I can see, that's a 4x squared. 3 9s are 27, and that's going to give you minus 9 is equal to 0. Two options, minus b or open two brackets. Show a chance to two brackets and see what we get on. 2x and a 2x, a 3 and a 3. Uh, four, three, um, no, and you're just about to read through your minus b, two, and two, all right, so, what am I putting in there, four plus nine, and then the second part is minus nine, okay, when you work that out, you're going to get x is equal to three quarters, and then the second time you do it, x is equal to minus 3. Here are your two answers. Job done. Okay, minus b. Quite possibly the handiest version of doing that. But you don't have to do the minus b. There's nothing saying it. If you've done the brackets, it'll be 4x and an x. And finish it off from there.